so class 7 today we are going to start with conjunctions so you know what are conjunctions suppose suppose uh this is a book this is a book okay it has different pages outer one then you have this page next page and next page how these are joined together how these are joined together how these pages are joined together tell me how these pages are joined together yes how these pages are joined together kisse join kiya humne inko how we have joined these pages together yes suhana bhavya how we have joined these pages mam through one end huh? we have binded the pages through one end by okay so how these all pages are joined together suppose this is a dais in front of me okay it has four pieces like one this side one this side and one front side three sides how these three sides are joined together tell me how these three sides of dais are joined together how yes how these three sides suppose this is dais in front of me it is made up of wood now tell me how you have joined three pieces of dais how you have joined yes tell me very simple question uh, ma'am ma'am through the nails with the help of nails with the help of fabricol also is your used and if these pages of the book are there how these are joined together these are joined together with the help of you can say fabricol binding yes. yeah. it's with glue okay we have joined them so but now the question is if you want to join words how you will join words how you will join words if i want to ask you join two words or if i will ask you join group of words or if i will ask you this i have given you one group of word and here this is another group of word okay how you will join suppose if i tell you ma'am by conjunction he is hard working this is one sentence and he is intelligent these are two sentences you know these two sentences okay he is hard working he is intelligent i am telling you join these two sentences how you will join he is hard working and he is hard working and intelligent he is hard working and and intelligent he is hard working and intelligent so you have joined these two words right what is this and then what is this conjunction and? conjunction it conjunction. means that conjunction what is conjunction it does the work of a binder like we join pages with glue we join wood with the help of fabricol and it is this you can say conjunction it helps to join words with the help of conjunction you can join words you can join sentences so this is another type of fabricol in case of english grammar okay can you remember this that conjunction is another type of fabricol which is joining words phrases okay for example rahul and ridham are good friends or are friends so again two names they are joined together with the help of what these are joined with the help of conjunction okay for example now you know these this is one sentence this is one sentence but when they have joined together to form one sentence okay then these parts of sentences these are called as clauses clauses these are called as clauses okay so so what is conjunction write down this example okay so what is conjunction you can write down conjunction is a word that joins what is conjunction that joins conjunction is a sentences. word that joins what it joins two sentences it joins first of all words okay words 
phrases or words phrases or clauses and sentences so you know you have come to know what is conjunction this is the definition of conjunction what is this this is the definition of conjunction clear now yes or no yes yes ma'am yes so what yes. is conjunction favicol remember what is conjunction it is a favicol with this favicol what you can join you can join words phrases clauses and sentences what you can join you can join phrases words clauses and sentences clear now so write down this definition what is conjunction conjunction is a word that joins words phrases clauses and sentences okay so write down this example he is hard working he is intelligent then you have joined it with and and what this and is this is conjunction <coughs> what is this and this and is conjunction okay right for example rahul and pritham are good friends okay so what is this this is called as conjunction now clear yes yes okay fine yes ma'am now let us move to up now for example we have you know we have gum gum means any kind of glue there are many different type of glues some are used for joining wood some are used for joining paper for paper you use fabric stick okay for joining wood you use favicol okay to join other hard surfaces there is uh, again different type of glue okay then there is lp different type of gums are there according to the requirement right there are different type of requirements and according to requirement there are different type of glues now similarly there are different type of words different type of sentences different type of clauses so there are different type of conjunctions also now first of all one basic classification of conjunction is the basic one let us have one basic type of classification okay so conjunction can be single word okay conjunctions write down side by side also conjunctions they can be single word single word also single word conjunction means where one word is conjunction this to you know uh, suppose and but but or, since okay or or right yet so single word conjunctions are there right next afterwards these are our single word conjunctions okay next we have sometimes two words they also join compound conjunctions compound means when two words they join compound conjunctions are also there now what are compound conjunctions for example which are formulated by two words for example two or more words for example so that that's why that's why okay so that that's why as long as as well as as well as okay so these are what these are not single words these are formulated by joining word so these are what these are called as compound conjunctions what are these called as these are called as compound conjunctions next afterwards we are having correlative now the question is yes correlative conjunction so now the question is what are correlative conjunctions correlative relative means join okay means they say we won't live alone we will live with our relatives okay they love their relatives relative friendly hoti hai right for example either 
or they are always used in this pair neither nor right okay then such as he is such a good man that everyone loves him okay so then so as means they are always used in pairs they are not used singular they are not used in singular manner okay they are always used in pairs we are always using them as pairs so single word they live alone compound they join with others and relative they always want to live with their relatives they say no we will not live alone we will go in a sentence with our relative for example two friends uh, when they come to me like for example um, for example uh, you can say arjun and kanna will come to me ma'am may i go to drink water arjun will say i say, i'll say yes you can go and he will say ma'am can i take kanna along with me because he is my friend okay so it means that they want to have their friends together right clear clear now yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am now single word conjunctions no problem okay after that we have two type of main conjunctions also that is now let me write down see now suppose coordinating conjunctions there are two type of conjunctions coordinating conjunctions and subordinating first i am taking coordinating conjunction what are coordinating conjunctions now suppose suppose there is a family okay and this family is going to a function suppose they are going to enjoy a function okay they are going to this function now here in this function this family has got a phone call now this is phone call one is from your masi and one another call is from your bua now tell me who is more important to me who is more important is anyone more important masi or bua or they have equal rank tell me yes, just give me equal 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 rank means she is your mother's sister and this is your father's sister it means equal rank okay equal rank okay now you will say if masi will call you will say okay we will wait for you if your bua will call you will say yes yes we will wait for you right so what it means i said they are of equal rank similarly here in coordinating conjunctions what happens that the two sentences are of in those conjunctions which join these two sentences these two sentences are of equal rank okay means coordinating conjunctions what is the function note down side by side coordinating conjunctions join sentences or clauses of equal rank they join conjunctions of equal rank this is the main thing here they join of equal rank now you will say ma'am sentences how they can be of equal rank see the first example i am writing he is intelligent he is hard working what is this they are of equal rank okay so how they will be joined he is hard working and intelligent okay suppose 
I know the way to warehouse. I don't tell you. Join these two sentences. Join these two sentences. Yes. Speak anyone? Yes. I know. I know the way to warehouse, but uh, I don't tell you. But I don't tell you. Okay, means here you are using but. Okay, these two sentences are independent. Independent means if you read this sentence, meaning is clear. If you read this sentence, meaning is clear. It no need not to depend upon any other sentence to complete its meaning. This is the yes, thing. Okay, so it means that. Coordinating conjunctions. What they do? They join sentences or clauses of equal rank. Okay. Now, how many type of coordinating conjunctions are there? Yes, this is the main thing here. There are mainly four type of coordinating conjunctions. Okay. Now see. First is cumulative. Everything has different function. Next, we have we are having adversative, adversative. Next, afterwards, we are having alternative. Now, this though is giving you an indication. What are these conjunctions? And the last one is elated, elated conjunctions. Right. So these are four. Now. Two examples I have already given. Cumulative means cumulate, means to add, to add the statement. Okay, what they do? They add the statement in the previous one. For example, the example I have written: He is intelligent. He is hardworking. And how you are joining? He is intelligent and he is hardworking. Okay. For example, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm tired and hungry. It means means one statement is being added to the another one, right? So what are these? These are cumulative conjunctions. Okay. Next is adversative. Adversative means when there is contrast between two. For example, example for example, the just sentence which I have just written. I know the way to warehouse, but I don't. But I don't tell you the way. Okay, right? So it means that they always show the contrast. Okay, right? So, uh, for example, I stayed back. Uh, it was raining. I stayed back. It was raining, so I stayed back. Okay, or you can say. I was tired, but I was very active. Okay, I knew the culprit. I kept quiet. I knew the culprit, but I kept quiet. It means contrasting situations are there. What are there? Contrasting situations are there. Okay, mainly these are example, but, yet, or while. For example, he is studying while his brother was playing. He is intelligent. Yet he is lazy. Okay, so but yet and while these are the three examples here. Mainly and means with and we are adding on the statement and as well as for example he is both intelligent and hardworking. He is uh, he is intelligent as well as hardworking. All these three ways can be used to. Add on the statement. Okay, so these are the ways of joining sentences. Next, we are having alternative conjunctions. Alternative means they give an alternative, alternate way. What they give? They give us an alternate way. Okay, alternate way means, for example, for example, if you don't work hard. Uh, work hard, otherwise you will fail. Okay. Otherwise means what is the other option that you will fail? 
okay either work hard or you will fail either means there is a choice for you either you work hard or you will fail okay or can also be used here okay you can go this way or that way so what is there it means that in this case there is a force you can say there is an alternative way what is there there is an alternative way next afterwards elective ones elective ones they give a reason what they do they give reason reason what is the reason so for example he is working hard so that he can get good marks okay he is paying more attention he was paying more attention therefore he has got first position so therefore right so these are the examples of conjunctions what are these these are the examples of conjunctions mainly coordinating conjunctions you just remember by this example fan boys f1 for a for and n for nor b for but but for or y for yet yet for so just remember so. fan boys okay fan boys conjunctions right what are coordinating conjunction fan boys conjunctions f for for a for and n for nor b for but o for or y for yet and s for so so what are four type of conjunctions first we will add then we contrast then we give an alternate way and then we give reason okay yes kanam मैम मैंने ये पूछना था जो ये आपने फैन बॉयज लिखा है मैम ये कौन सी कंजंक्शन में आएंगे कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस ऑल कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस दे आर ऑल कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस राइट ओके सो नाउ व्हाट आर कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस क्या थे कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस हु विल टेल मी कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस कौन से थे व्हिच आर कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस yes speak who will speak yes mishti will tell me yes coordinating conjunctions were which conjunctions yes mishti coordinating conjunctions were those conjunctions when join when we join two sentences close of equal rank yes very good what is what are these these are join of equal rank now suppose same family same family suppose this is father okay this is mother she is wearing a dress okay and um, i'm not so good in drawing this is their son and this is the girl she is having two plants okay so same family is going to a marriage where they are going they are going to a marriage now again two phone calls come this is a phone and this is a phone okay so this is a phone from one of the relative and there is a phone call from one of far friend and they said we are coming to your house what they will do what you will do what you will tell to your relative suppose again your master or who are called what you will tell you will tell yes we will wait for you okay and if far off relative you can say yes today we are going on a function or a marriage tomorrow we will meet it means your answer to both of them is not same means they are not equal similarly some subordinating conjunction that they are joining sentences not of equal rank It means they join sentences or clauses of unequal rank ab aap kahoge ma'am 
how sentences can be of unequal rank now suppose i write sentence i have a bungalow or i have a book which is lying on the table now see here here which is conjunction now see here in this sentence just see okay i have a book is complete in its meaning it need not to depend on any other sentence to complete its meaning second one is which is lying on the table then question comes to your mind what is lying on the table then when you look here on the first sentence you will come to know yes he is talking about book it means this one who is complete in its meaning this is called as principal clause okay and this one which has to depend this is called as dependent clause or subordinate clause or it is called as subordinate clause this is what this is the reason they join subordinate clause as well as the main clause these are called as subordinating conjunctions what are these called as these are called as subordinating conjunctions now clear till here tell me clear fine okay so today we have done conjunctions what are conjunction conjunction is a pavicol i told which is joining sentences clauses phrases or verbs how many type of many there are mainly broadly speaking three main types simple one word one and then compound which are formed by joining of words then we have four correlative which should live only with their relatives okay next afterwards we have studied about coordinating conjunctions where sentences were of equal rank pan boys was were the examples okay not next afterwards we have studied subordinating conjunctions so in the next class we will do few subordinating conjunctions that's okay fine now you have doubts you can ask me